Oh, that's cr this is a good hand. All right, who's going first here? He's playing Crackhead and Blizz. Huh? 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 That's a gold four Blackwing turn. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see what a gold four uh, Vendred turn looks like. Actually, it's the festival, so they might not be gold. Silver four. Okay. Whoa. We, these these players are one tier apart from one another. We have a silver duelist versus a gold duelist here. Who will come out on top here? All right. We've searched Vendred knights. We're e-telling a face down from the deck. The ravenous Vendred. Specials and then goes into Scavenger, who now gets a uh, quick effect banish effect, I think, from Revenants. There you go. Banishing Black Wing Dragon. All right. Get out of here. Score of the Vendred. Brings itself back here. We're going to go Vendred Knights. Battle phase. Punch. Oh, I love, like, the paradox of Black Whirlwind and Lightning Storm, by the way. That's really funny. Why did we even summon the Criss Crack of Dawn? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to top deck something crazy here. That's pretty crazy. Here we go. Black Whirlwind. Wait, what? Tribute another zombie. This gains attack points. Just shotgun that button glow. Click yes. Makes sense. Oh, ga whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking just OG Gale. <laughs> All right. Um, no. He has the banish effect. Oh, hold, hold, hold. Zephyros, hold. Oh, 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 oh. Pass? <laughs> My guy just summoned Utopia <laughs> and passed <laughs> in Blackwing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man, gold is crazy. <laughs> gold is insane. Oh no, it's the end of the duel. No, not like this. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that, was, that was definitely a turn there. All right, well, um, I think uh, little bro just needs to finish the game here. And that's it. That was uh, that was a silver for Vendred player and a gold for uh, Blackwing Duelist. Would you believe it? I am Revendred! This deck is so cool. It's a shame it's not good. All right. Keeper of Dragon Magic, Blue Eyes, Rage with Eyes of Blue, Polymerization, and Huge Universe. Uh, Duelist B here, rocking it at a solid silver five with the three back row and the reactor slime here. And we're going to normal summon out the Keeper of the Dragon Magic, discarding the white stone here. Bottom text, wow. Immediately on summon, look at that, priority almost, huh? Look at that. Banishing, but we get to add Fusion Substitute from deck to the hand here. And the Gorgon Egg triggers, that's going to give us a Blue Eyes White Dragon from deck to the hand here. Revealing it to Special Summon Alternative, immediately throws an uh, Poly. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. All right, it is uh, Arabic Middle East Dictator Dragon. Attempts to go into the battle to attack over the Reactus line. Gets hit with a uh, setting of the thing here. Clears the tokens. Set two cards. End phase, we're going to go Reactor Slime. Reactor Slime. Reactor Slime. <laughs> Triple Reactor Slime here. Hit in the field here. Um, do, do, are we just going to make three of him? Okay, there's come one. Oh, Fusion Reverse. What does that do? Adds a Blue Eyes. Adds a Poly. Okay. Never mind. Here's a second one. And here's a third one. Ah! Uh -huh. Tribute into... Huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Effect. Hey. Battle face. Whoa. Here comes the animation, here comes the animation. BAD CHEST! Woo! <laughs> Took him down there, boys. Took him down there. Uh, Alright, okay, let's see. We've got Special Summon Photon Thrasher into the Gentlemander. Gonna go up into Utopia. Pass. At a rank of Silver 4. This guy is on Silver 1. Let's see what his rank up Silver game is gonna look like. It's a DDD deck that only runs 10 extra deck monsters. We're gonna go Swirl Slime and Thomas, fusing into this guy. Special out the Orthos. Uh, Purple Man gets to revive. We're gonna link summon up into Gilgamesh. Nice zones. 
scales up Copernicus and a Keplar, ranks up into uh, the Xe here, isn't going to Pendulum Summon, attempts to attack over the Utopia, <laughs> gets Negate attacked, but then Forbidden Droplets the Utopia, discarding Ash Blossom, so that we can actually out this Utopia. <laughs> No, number monsters can only be destroyed by number monsters. Bat chest, Yuma. Okay, we're going to take some damage here. We got Genghis and a Machine X pass. All right, how are we going to get out of this one? Let's see. We're going to activate Monster Reborn. Target Utopia. Last card in hand is Maxi. Man, even the Silver Duelist can't catch a break from the Earth Insect. All right, we're going to bring back Utopia. A bat chest. Are we going to rank this up with this construction? We're going to special summon the horse. And normal summon Bull Blader. Gonna climb up at the Utopia Ray. Climb up, uh, equip onto the Utopia Ray. Bull Blader effect activates. Pops the Machine X. Necro's format tech card, by the way. And then clears the Gilgamesh and passes on a single Utopia Ray. Does this card not do anything? I guess not. Okay, whatever. Kepler increases its scale effect or something in the standby. We're gonna negate the Kepler on the field with continuous effect of the Saber. We've got another fusion play coming up for a Flame King Genghis with the Swirl Slime in the hand. Last card in hand is a Griffin, which then triggers the Genghis for Genghis. Pendulum summons out Orthos. Orthos, I think, changes level or something or becomes... I don't know. We're gonna rank up anyway into up uh, King Tell um, for this guy into another Gilgamesh. Uh, why did we make Gilgamesh? <laughs> We're just passing! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is that live? Please tell me that's live. Oh no, it's not live. Okay, we're gonna go Avarice into Zexel and Trust. Battle phase. We're gonna punch over the King Tell here, trigger the effect here, sends a Lamia, and then just pass his turn. Okay, this is just a fist fight now. This is just an actual just prison riot. Who's gonna win here? We got Swirl Slime effect, banishing special summoning <laughs> Swirl Slime from the hand. <laughs> Saber the horse negates the Genghis, send the Swirl Slime for the Lamia, and just passes, okay? <laughs> Alright, draw for turn. Automata pickup, that's crazy! Activates Automata pickup, gets an Automata para from the hand here. Battle phase just punches the Gilgamesh. Just no follow up, nothing. Oh my god, floats up into the Machine X here. Okay, pass turn. All right, turn number eight. What have you got for us, Silver Duelist? This is your rank up game, remember. No pressure. If you win this, you get to go to gold, baby. Twin Saber negates the Copernicus and passes turn. You couldn't even link it away. You just go to battle phase and attack here. Let's see if he sees the play. Is he going to bad manner him? We're going into Utopia Lightning, first of all. Utopia Lightning, attack, effect, detach, boost, fig, 5,000. Into the Copernicus for game. He lost his Ride Cup game. Well, back to silver you go, my friend. Try again next time. All right, Virtual World. Uh, here we go. Dragon Ruler. Oh, my God. Tempest. Discard. Special summon with Sparks here. We're going to add a Piled Arm Dragon. Piler himself is going to send a Wind. Uh, no, it's going to send a Dragon to summon itself. Then it can send a Wind. Gains the attack here. This guy triggers to add another Tempest. All right, we're going to overlay up into Tomahawk here. Yep, there it is. Okay. So just your average uh, Dragon Ruler deck, by the way. Tomahawk Turbo. Let's fast forward here and see what this actually uh, does as a win condition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Traffic Ghost. That's not an Auradon. Uh, Virus Berserker. Into the uh, Link Climbing of the Zero Day stuff here. All right, and then we've got a VLAN Hydra. Hydra targeting this, tributing off here, summoning two Hydra, to three Hydra tokens. Yeah, it's like Auradon. It's literally the same thing. Oh my God, Terahertz. All right, we're going to go Terahertz effect here. Send a uh, Clock Wyvern. The, the, <laughs> we're linking away the traffic goes for Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon recycles the Clock Wyvern. Back to the hand here. Do we have our normal summon? We still have our normal summon, by the way. Here's Crystal Heart. Activate the Firewall, triggering to special summon the Clock Wyvern. Clock Wyvern summons a token. Uh, Golem brings back Link Spider. Up into a Link Karibo. And then link away the Firewall into the Proxy Magician. Proxy Magician fusing into... Si clock Dragon, there it is! Yup, Clock! We're gonna summon Clock Lizard now. Clock Lizard, tribute, return a fusion from the grave to the extra deck, then fusion summon that monster by banishing all of the materials here. That's a lot of Link monsters, baby. Into the Cybers Clock Dragon. Activate the effect to mill a bunch of cards equal to the number of materials used or something like that, right? Or the attack. 
and then it's up to 30,000. Banish a light in the dark, summon back the dragon ruler, go into Anemone. Anemone can special summon the catapult turtle from the graveyard, tributing the clock wiper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was so bad! <laughs> Exodia! What the hell? It's moisture creature? Oh, that's so funny! Tribute three monsters to tribute summon this. If summoned this way, destroy all spells and traps your opponent control. That is so funny. He's playing fucking moisture creature. Oh, let's fucking go. Alright, draw off a turn here. You're playing a lot of trap cards. We get a fire off reasoning. What do you call in this format? You called four. Shallow Grave. Torrential. Knock. Uh, trap card, different dimension capsule, dust tornado, Sphinx Talaya. Oh my god, you're playing that thing! Oh, it's the fucking Pyramid of Light movie cards. What does it even do? Cannot attack the turn it was normal or special. It cannot be special from the grave. This destroys the defense position as a result of your battle. Inflict damage to your opponent's life equal to half the defense. It's literally just a vanilla monster. That's insane. Oh my god, that is crazy. Emissary of Darkness, Torrential Tribute. <laughs> To trigger both ter uh, Emissary of Darknesses to get a uh, two normal monsters from the deck here. We're going to get oppressed people and people running about. Ladies and gentlemen, we have United Resistance. People running about and, dis and oppressed people here. We got people running about. Wow, you actually attacked. That's brave. All right. Um, and now we are just going to pass turn sitting under the swords here. Jar of Greed. What the hell is that? Feather of the Phoenix. Discard a card, target a card in your grave, return it to the top of your deck. We're gonna stack the reasoning and then draw it with the Jar of Greed. That is so garbage. Wow, what a shit combo. Dark Magician! Oh my god! <laughs> Ain't no way! Ain't no way! Alright. We got United Resistance and we got people running about. Is it time for the combo soon? Still can't play the game. Alright, pass turn. Last turn of swords here. We've got them all. It is oppressed people. United resistance. People running about. Huge revolution. Activate. Chain Dustinator to hit the last card here. But that's not going to matter because huge revolution resolves. Destroying all cards our opponent controls. <laughs> Fucking goat format, baby. Best format. Pass turn. All right. Uh, draw for turn here. Fake trap. That would have been uh, pretty nice last turn. Actually, I don't think fake trap um, freaking uh, replaces itself, honestly. All right. Wow. We got the beat sticks on the on the play here. Emissary of the afterlife. Supposed to search Exodia pieces, apparently. But no, we are searching the huge revolution. The communists are winning. All right. Fastest OTK, by the way. Got a magic cylinder. I think this might be enough to save us. 16 nope. It's game. No matter what you do here. Human Wave Tactics. What the hell is that card? The Moki Moki on this thing. Uh, during the end phase, if you're level 2 or lower, normal battle, special level 2 or normal from your deck, equal to number level 2 or lower, destroyed this turn. Wow, it just E-Tellies 3 there. Unbelievable. Congratulations. What a crazy game. <laughs> That's a crazy hand, buddy. All right, normal summon Alistair. Add invocation. The card's crazy. Cup of Ace always heads, baby. Cup of Ace always heads, baby. Oh, no, we lost. Damn. All right, activate Invocation. We're not even making a Link Monster here. Using our opponent's win to make Raijin, I guess. All right. Invoked Raijin. Invocation, recycle. Add back to the hand here. Very nice. Battle phase. <laughs> oh, book yourself to dodge Mirror Force. <laughs> All right, we're chaining Berry Magician Girl as well to summon Dark Magician Girl, baby. Huge. Oh, shit. That just looks so cool. The Book of the Law in the battle phase. Holy shit. Into Ogadi's Nuts. Ogadi's effect on summon. Send yourself now. And punch over the girl. And main two, we're going to set Omega Summon. All right. Uh, opponent draws for turn here. We got six in hand. Let's begin with the Dark Magical Circle. Normal summon Magi Karibo setting two and passing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, Cup of Ace, always heads, baby. You're just not good at the game. That's your problem. Normal summon Alistair. Add invocation. Why is this your favorite card? Using the Ogades and the Raijin to summon... Oh my god, is this Elysium? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, invoked Elysium. <laughs> 
All right, Elysium effect, target invoked, banish it, and all monster control with the same attribute. And then we activate Omega Summon. Wait, they have a return from the different dimension? <laughs> oh my god, dude. They summon them in defense mode. It's so bad. Oh! <laughs> Okay, never mind. Uh, there goes our uh, Omega summon. But linking with the uh, sphere mode, that's that's fantastic. Alright, and now we summon Alistair the Invoker. Activating Invocation, Banish an Ogades and an Alistair. Is this another Elysium? It's just this has to just be Makaba, right? Why are you playing Farfa? Is it just good discard folder for Makaba? Is that the logic? Discard a Farfa, negate and banish a card. And banish two, I suppose. <laughs> 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 nice trap card in hand, idiot. Oh, Alistair does one. Omega Summon 2! <laughs> Wait, isn't it banished only? Banished invoked monsters. Wait, this isn't even good right now. Oh no, okay, right. We need to banish those idiots. Uh, we drew the wrong Wind Witch, I think, right? Yeah, that's the Garnet one. All right, activate Invocation. Banishing Alistair and Elysium. Going to summon Ogades, and then Ogades banish the other one, right? Just keep doing that. Keep looping Omega Summon, baby. Pure Invoked. Wow, I never thought this would be a good deck, huh? Is that a fucking Electromagnetic Turtle? That's hilarious. Alright, adding back Alistair here. Battle phase. Electromagnetic Turtle. Very nice. Alright, your opponent gets another turn here. We're banishing the Makaba. And we're gaining and we're passing. We're setting up that Omega Fusion. Alright, here we go. We're we gonna standby phase it? No, we're not. We're gonna go Maleo. Punch over the Alistair. Main two. End phase. We're not using Omega Summon in the end phase? Okay, alright. Ogadis banish Raijin. Oh, we want to summon four of them, that's why. We want to get max value, I see. Alright, add Invocation, activate Invocation, banish a Light and a Dark here. Oh, Wind, actually. Alright, we're gonna go for Raijin. Uh, you need to set up that Raijin so you can dodge Mirror Force again, clearly. Alright, Invocation here, Recycling. Uh-huh. Alright, linking for three here. What are you doing? What is this? Activate Nightmare Unicorn. Spin itself, yes. Spin the Maleo. Activate Magical Meltdown 2. Add another Alistair. Battle phase. Attack. It connects. All right, and now this is your opponent's last turn here. What can they do against the Unicorn Pass? Main phase one. Normal summon. Rogue of Endymion. Place a spell counter, and they scoop it up there. Let's go. <laughs> All right. That is just your average silver invoked game. Uh, you get to see shit like fucking, um, Omega Summon. Umbral Horror and Gorgonic Ghoul. Forming a deck of untold power in Platinum 5 as our Dark Magician opponent begins with the Chaos Illusion Magician to go Soul Send Dark Magician, sending itself, special summoning the Royal Rare asshole out of the deck here. There he is. Activate the Soul Servant. There is Mahad. Past turn. All right, draw. We've got the contract with Dawn Thousand. Activate. Both players lose. We draw. Set pass. Mahad is being revealed right now. Top deck of Magicalized Fusion. Dark Magic Attack. Pop the back row here. And uh, Servant draw. All right. This sets us up for a crazy next turn. Trust me, with the Umbral Horror. Oh! Called by the Grave randomly. That's just dis That's just shitting on us. While attacking a monster, you can special two Umbral Horrors from your deck. Okay, you need to crash this thing. But it's negated! No, don't! Don't! No, it's negated! No! No! Uh, call by last two turns for some reason. <laughs> but! Oh, not like this. <laughs> Alright, we've got... Coin? Any any tossers of coins here? Uh, we're against Rika. This is uh, this is kind of doomed, surely. Right? I don't know. Maybe he'll mess it up. You never know. Gambler of Legend goes hard with second coin toss. Raigeki clears. Dry ass over there. Set to pa okay. All right. That's a plant plant combo. I believe that we can uh, maybe win this here. We're gonna stand with a couple of aces, but we're we're not gonna start with second coin toss. We hit heads. Is that good? <laughs> whoa! 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 
Second coin toss. Oh, his heads, baby. Thunderbolt. Yeah, get a destroyed EU plant bozos. All right, set, cauldron. And uh, that's our turn. All right, our opponent's going to get a pedal in the end phase here. That's a bit scary. We're playing Burn Flipper. Any burn flipping? Chain Path of Destiny here to the Rekka Petal. I think second coin toss makes you reflip both coins here. So we hit Tails, which I think is good. And then Tails on the opponent. I, so we just both lose 2,000, right? Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we would have went heads and then Tails, maybe? I think that's how that works. The opponent is uh, 500 life points away from the end, by the way. Although this is a healing deck. No! They thunderbolted Dice Jar. That was our win condition. Strongest plant turn, by the way. Dry ass pass. All right, Cauldron of the Old Man here. Oh, that's how we're getting that burn. All right, we're gaining life points. We're going to go Gambler of Legend here. Chain Princess to negate the Gambler of Legend. Uh, can we go Head Judging? Or is this field only? Head Judging only negates cards on the field here. All right, Battle Phase. Attack directly. Cubic! <laughs> Cubic Plants. Uh, we're going to Head Judging in the damage step to negate the uh, Dry Ass. Calling tails here, hit head. Second coin toss time. Oh no, that's oh oh oh! <laughs> All right, the seed scales itself, and then we pass turn. End phase, the petal comes back. What will our cubic plant deck do? Wow, this was a real debate here. Uh, activate the petal. Gonna get a search for the princess. We have another negate, I suppose. Special summoning her to the field here. Linking away for another jasmine. How are we getting the effect off here? We're not. We're just not. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, joke's on you. We got a second Gambler of Legend here. Let's draw for turn. Can we get something spicy? This cauldron might spill. Oh, wow, triple. All right, um, that's pretty good. Okay, we're not dealing damage. We're we're healing with the cauldron, which seems a bit weird. We're unironically going to imperm the Gambler of Legend. That's a... Uh, that, we do... <laughs> he does not want to lose his card in hand, I guess. Petal comes back in the end phase. We need to do something about this. You can't just pedal every single turn here. Uh, we're gonna activate the, uh, oh, normal summon pets. We're gonna Jasmine Tribute off here. Head judging. Flip a coin. Call it correct. Stealing only. Calls tails. Doesn't even need the second coin toss. Wait, what? Does that not work the way I think it does? If they call it right, send this card to the graveyard. Why didn't we second coin toss? Does that not work? Am I stupid? Just second coin toss. Okay, we're going to go Vajam in the end phase, summoning the seed. We've got seeds and thorns. Draw for turn here. We've got Misjudge. Not bad. All right, we're going to start using this cauldron for for uh, for good or for evil yet. Why is it on zero things? What happened? Did I miss something? Misjudge here. Lip gets double tails. That's bad, isn't it? All right. Oh, wow. We did. We are going to use our second. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Oh, the Imperm reset the counters. That's so unfortunate. All right. I can't tell if we're in a good position or not. We're beating off the Evil Thorn here. What are we summoning? Well, we're going to head judging it. Hey, don't forget there's a card called Second Coin Toss on your side of the field here. All right. Opponent calls heads. They missed. My Jasmine. This is the worst duel in history. We're going to crash the seed here. Scales itself. We're going to use the Misjudge to negate. We miss. Second coin toss, we go again, and we miss. Unlucky. All right, so scales itself, and then uh, specials itself back. Why did we do that? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Huh? Oh, God, BLS, it doesn't even have the good protection effect. That's amazing that you performed a link summon uh, before using the duster on the mystery back row. You know, you really are uh, living on the edge here. A man of danger, I see. Gonna dust away the last back row here. Some random idiot. Why are we using the Gambler of Legends? We're still gonna negate it. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I guess you have to. You're on 2,500 life points. All right, negate the Gambler of Legends. Um, Cauldron the Old Man. We're still gaining life points. Just do damage. Seed. Head Judge. Is this the end? This is the worst coin flip duel in history. Heads! Uh, they called it right. It's still game, though. Oh, Cubic Ascension. Hello. A seed. Oh, we live. All right, we're scaling the seeds here. We might be able to pendulum summon the third seed soon. 
Petal comes out in the end phase. It's like the 11th turn that we're uh, summoning Petal, I guess, divided by two. Uh, activating the effect of Petal here, searching for a copy of Princess. That looks like your seventh Princess. Oh no, they shuffle themselves back, that's why. Infinite Princess here. Wait, they just passed turn? Alright, come on, you've got this Gambler of Legend. Uh, are you gonna- you're still using the heal effect. Activates the Gambler of Legend, it's still negated. Main wait, what? Why are we passing? Wait, what? Why are we passing? I guess there's no point, because it comes back, maybe? You know your opponent would be dead by now if you just used the, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, anime! Oh, the back and forth! Why did we do that last turn? Oh, wow, All right, we're now we're summoning seeds! <laughs> uh, okay. Oh! Oh! It's time! It's time! We're finally dealing the damage here. Time wizard magic! No! He's negating the time wizard! No! No, oh, is it Jover? Is that it? Is it? Is oh no, Joey Wheeler in shambles! All right, our opponent draws for turn here. Finally, using that Aroma Garden battle phase clears the Time Wizard. Sadly, is this Cauldron game? Four counters multiplied by I don't know how much. Is it three hundred or four hundred per counter? Activate the effect. We're gaining a counter. Activate the effect. Game. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst game of Yu-Gi-Oh I've seen.